Okay, so I finally made it out to my first ever Lufga cult. Luf Lufga cult? Lufga cult. Let's just call it Luft. And despite everything I've heard and how hyped up it was, it still exceeded my expectations. I think that Patrick Long, Jeff Swart, and the crew at Luft are some of the smartest, most creative people in the automotive events industry. So today, I'm going to tell you what they've done to make Luft so special and why every car show on a golf course is going to feel pretty lame after this. These guys are geniuses, and the success of Luft didn't happen by accident. I'm not going to bother going into what Luft is other than to say it's an air-cooled Porsche car show. If you're here, you already know about Luft, and I'm not going to add filler content to the video or ask you to subscribe, but I mean, I'm not going to stop you if you like this kind of content. All right, so in my mind, Luft is like the next generation of car shows, and it caters to an audience who live and breathe social media. That is an important part of the recipe. Luft is made for platforms like Instagram, and social media is key to its success in two different ways. First, people take and share a ton of pictures because the photos are amazing. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. But second, because of the curation of the cars in these great settings, it taps into the hopes and dreams of every aspiring photographer that they have the chance to get that perfect shot. You know, the photo that goes viral and gets 10,000 likes. Don't underestimate people's desire for fame. Everyone thinks, hey, this is my chance when they're at Luft. This is so prevalent that if you walk up to a car to peer inside at the interior, you might cause some people to get a little bit annoyed that you ruined their shot. But hey, it's a car show and interiors are part of the show too. And so are people. So chill, all right? Okay, so let's go back to why the pictures are amazing. In real estate, the old saying is location, 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 and the same is true here. But it's more than the location. It's the venue itself that creates the backdrop for these cars. The venues are carefully scouted and selected. This isn't a bunch of cars lined up on a golf course where every photo is a car against a green, grassy background. Sure. That makes the car the main subject of the photo, but it's kind of a boring photo. For Luft though, they pick places and stage cars in a way that makes Instagram friendly photos. And this is because of the variety within the venue itself. Each car looks like it could have been shot somewhere totally different. But another element of the photos is the sort of behind the scenes car spotting vibes. It feels like cars are just randomly parked in a back alley or in front of an iconic building. There is this kind of caught in the wild sort of feeling, like you're encountering these cars in their natural habitat rather than in a stage setting. You get this kind of amateur porn sort of vibe where it's like this isn't highly polished or posed, but it's real life. You see the context of the car in the real world, but if you're a photographer, you have to capture that surrounding context in your photo too, otherwise it's still just a picture of a car. I might even go as far as to compare this to interactive theater. After all, the organizers of Luft are from Hollywood. If you've ever been to a production like Sleep No More in New York, it's kind of a play that is simultaneously happening in multiple rooms and over multiple floors of a building. So you kind of roam from floor to floor, seeing actors performing different scenes. The actors and the audience even intermingle, and Luft has some similarities in that you kind of roam around and encounter these little scenes with the cars tucked away in different locations. You might not even find them all throughout the day, but each one is kind of like a little welcome surprise when you do. And that summarizes the main magic of Luft. But there are other smaller things that add to the experience too like DJs and food trucks and being dog and kid and kind of non-car people friendly too. There's no judging of the cars as far as I'm aware, and it feels just kind of like a nice block party or a huge cars and coffee with people hanging out, eating, drinking, socializing. Another nice touch is that there's no signage for the cars like a typical car show. You know, the kind of placards on or near the car showing the owner, the make, the model, etc. And why don't they do this? Well, 
because that would detract from the illusion. It would trigger your brain in a way that would take you out of this immersive experience. And it would also ruin the photos. But what they have cleverly done instead is to give each car a loofed sticker that's a QR code. And scanning that, you can get info about the car on their website. Pretty smart. I'm even gonna leave my sticker on after the event so that people can learn a little about the car's history when it's out and parked at the grocery store or whatever, assuming that they hopefully keep the website up. A lot of folks have asked, could another brand pull off something similar? And I'm not sure. There's definitely something special about Porsche and the event has a blend of old cars and new cars, modified cars, stock cars, museum cars, patinaed cars, and I'm not sure the other brands are as inclusive and welcoming of all that kind of variety. But I'd sure like to see someone try. Like I said, I think Luft is at the cutting edge here, and this is really the future of what car shows can and should become. If there's anything I'd change about Luft, and there's not much, it'd be to bring the cars to life a little bit more. Start them up so we can hear their engines. seeing the cars leaving at the end of the day. Just seeing them in motion made them more special, even if they weren't going fast. That's it. I hope you learned something, found this informative, and learned a little about the secret sauce of Luft. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe for more videos coming soon.